pitch was icy. I mean, really shouldn't have been played that day. But the fact that the ground was full, 20 odd thousand spectators, um, the referee went ahead and it was like a skating rink. I mean, watching it and it was a, a back pass, um, they nipped in, scored. And then our equaliser, it was because the corner flag fell down. Les Carter took the kick and their keeper caught it. Last seconds, it was, the game was over and the ref made him take it again and Dixie popped up far post. So they weren't very pleased and that added to the atmosphere for, like, for the replay up at Newcastle. Because the press, I mean, Wrexham were made out to be the villains and it was nothing to do with us, you know. I think it was taken three times. Uh, first time it was cleared, uh, the corner flag fell down. And the second time it was cleared, the corner flag fell down. And the third time I just followed Big John Roberts in and um, he just missed it and um, it virtually dropped onto me right on the back post and uh, managed to get it in. But... Again, the free kick direction. Too well by Rob Carney. Comes to Johnson, and he touches it in! Johnson turns to the delight of life supporters, having been presented with a gift. Scored two at Stoke, and puts Bly the head here. Mistake by Alan Hill, and Johnson just the slightest of touches, and it was enough. Here's Dwyer, all the big men forward, Shinton, Roberts, McNeil. Got a good angle now, if he can put the brakes on. Shinton, oh, and somehow turned away by McNeil. I'm not even sure that McNeil didn't, McNeil didn't take away a header that might well have gone in. Bobby Shinton, all along has looked like the most likely man to save Wrexham. Corner, says the referee. And Waterson doesn't agree, and it did well look as though it came off the shins of, uh, of Shinton. Referee putting the flag in its right place. Curling in, Shinton is underneath it. The goalkeeper got a hand to it. Another corner. Again, they're on their feet in the dugout. That corner won't count, but it's beautifully taken anyway. Cartwright with the kick. Roberts hounding in on it. play at Newcastle and uh, we played at St James's Park. I think the thing about that was the crowd. I mean it was enormous. For an amateur club I think we were all absolutely stunned that when we got to the ground at quarter past six they virtually didn't look as if there was anybody there and there weren't because they were all inside you know at that time of the day I mean the place was absolutely heaving. The atmosphere was, was hostile like. Um... They were all expecting Bly to win, I would think, because they got us back up to St James's Park. Like. I've never heard a referee get a reception like, because we had the same referees for replays in those days, and 42,000, there must have been 40,000 Geordies there, and the, you know, well, the, the stick they gave him when he came out, and there's only 10 minutes gone, and he gave us a penalty in front of the cop at Newcastle. I couldn't believe it.